Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. There are countless beautiful destinations to visit around the world, but some places are either too dangerous, too protected, or too mysterious to explore. Several locations across the globe, from man-made buildings and structures to natural habitats that contain dangerous species, religious mysteries, and secrets, make these areas forbidden to outsiders. Here are 10 places on Earth which are forbidden and you are not allowed to visit. Number 10. Heard Island, Australia There's the ends of the Earth, and then there's Heard Island, one of the most remote islands in the world. Heard Island technically belongs to Australia, but can be found somewhere between Madagascar and Antarctica. The island is known for its two active volcanoes, but for the most part, it's thoroughly blanketed in ice. Inhabitants include seals, birds, and four types of penguins. At a soaring 2,745 meters, it is 517 meters taller than Mount Kosciuszko, giving it the little-known title of the tallest mountain in Australian-owned territory, excluding Antarctica. Heard Island takes seven days to reach by boat from Fremantle. Humans, however, are not permitted to visit, though landings to the nearby McDonald Islands are allowed solely for compelling scientific reasons. Number 9. The Real No-Go Zone of France When you imagine France and its scenic countryside, you might think of the picturesque villages, vineyards aplenty, and endless rolling green hills to drive through on a blissful summer road trip. Not all scenes in France are made of rolling green hills filled with gorgeous villages. In fact, there is one corner of this scenic country that no one has been allowed to enter for nearly a century, known as the Zone Rouge, the Red Zone. Nobody lives there, nothing has been built there, and it is actually forbidden to enter. Before World War I, Verdun was mainly farmland. The area quickly changed during the war after millions of rounds of artillery shells were fired. The ground was churned up, the trees were smashed, and the towns were destroyed by explosives. The war ended in 1918 and left the villages a casualty of war. Unable to keep up with the impossible task of removing endless detonated weapons, human, and animal remains, the French government decided on a forced relocation of residents, which led to the creation of the Zone Rouge. Entire villages wiped off the map were considered casualties of war. The 1,190 square kilometer, 460 square mile area is still strictly prohibited by law from public entry and agricultural use. Authorities are working to clear the land. However, at the current rate, many believe that it could take 300 to 700 years to complete, or it may never be fully cleared. Number 8. North Sentinel Island A friendly smile goes a long way when traveling, but the people of North Sentinel Island in the Indian Ocean want nothing to do with outside society. In fact, if you were to set foot on the island, the Sentinelese would try to kill you. Almost nothing is known about this indigenous tribe which has inhabited the island for more than 60,000 years. The Sentinelese are completely cut off from modern civilization by their own choice. After failing to make a connection, even after rescuers from the 2004 tsunami were met with hostility, the Indian government has stopped all attempts and prohibited travel within three miles of the island. In 2006, two illegally operating fishermen were killed when they broke the rules and visited the island. John Chow, a 26-year-old American missionary, was killed in 2019 by the Sentinelese tribe when he tried to make contact with them. Number 7. Fort Knox, Kentucky, USA One of the best-kept mysteries in the U.S. is located just 48 kilometers, 30 miles southwest of Louisville. The United States Bullion Depository, aka Fort Knox, is stacked with glittering gold bricks. We think. Very few people have entered the Gold Fortress, leaving many unanswered questions about the location. Fort Knox, the U.S. Army post, is adjacent to the U.S. Bullion Depository, but the term Fort Knox is often used to refer to the Gold Vault Building. According to the U.S. Mint, there are currently 147.3 million ounces of gold in Fort Knox, Kentucky. At a current price of about $1,280 per ounce, this is worth $220.6 billion. This comes very short of getting the U.S. out of its $14.7 trillion national debt. The gold holdings are worth less than 2% of the U.S. public debt. What goes on there is mostly a secret, which is how the phrase, as secure as Fort Knox, originated. 
Number 6. Bohemian Grove, California, USA Every July, some of the richest and most powerful men in the world gather at a 2,700-acre campground in Monterio, California for two weeks of heavy drinking, super-secret talks, druid worship, the group insists they are simply revering the redwoods, and other rituals. The people that gather at Bohemian Grove, who have included prominent business leaders, former U.S. presidents, musicians, and oil barons, are told that weaving spiders come not here, meaning business deals are to be left outside. One exception was in 1942, when a planning for the Manhattan Project took place at the Grove, leading to the creation of the atom bomb. According to rumors, the only way to join the Bohemian Club is to be invited by members or join a waiting list decades long. There is also a $25,000 initiation fee along with yearly dues. Former President Bill Clinton once told a heckler, The Bohemian Club. Did you say Bohemian Club? That's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? The Bohemian Club? That's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. Number 5. Snake Island, Brazil Around 150 kilometers, 93 miles south of downtown Sao Paulo, is Ilha da Quimada Grande, better known as Snake Island. It sits about 40 kilometers, 25 miles off the coast of Brazil. No humans are allowed on Snake Island, and with good reason. There's about one deadly snake per square foot on it. Legend has it that the last fisherman who strayed too close to its shores was found days later adrift in his own boat, lifeless in a pool of blood. The danger on the island comes in the form of the golden lancehead snakes, a species of pit viper and one of the deadliest serpents in the world. It's estimated that there are between 2,000 and 4,000 snakes on the island, which unsurprisingly is known as Snake Island. Snake Island is uninhabited now, the Navy periodically visits the lighthouse for upkeep and makes sure no adventurers are wandering too close to the island. Number 4. Mirny Diamond Mine, Russia One of the largest man-made excavated holes in the world is found at Mir Mine, aka Mirny Diamond Mine. The enormous pit is located in eastern Siberia and is the second largest man-made hole in the world. At the time of its closing in 2004, the mine was 525 meters deep and 1,200 meters across, making it the second largest excavated hole in the world after Bingham Canyon Mine. The hole is so big that airspace above the mine is closed for helicopters because of incidents in which they were sucked in by the downward airflow. During the peak years, the mine produced more than 10 million carats of diamonds annually. The town is strictly off-limits to outsiders, though, so don't expect to get a glimpse of this diamond in the rough. Number 3. Poveglia, Italy Twisted doesn't begin to describe the history of Paveglia Island, a small island between Venice and Lido in northern Italy. For centuries, the small island has been prime real estate for, well, dumping of the dead. The island became a quarantine colony in the 14th century for victims of the bubonic plague. In the 19th century, Poveglia became an asylum for the area's mentally ill, where it was rumored that a cruel doctor performed experiments on the patients. Today, the island is abandoned, save for the ghosts of the tortured souls that once lived there. Tourists and locals are banned from visiting, unless you want to undergo a lengthy paperwork process. But as this is considered the most haunted place in Italy, that's likely for the best. Number 2. Svalbard Global Seed Vault Halfway between Norway and the North Pole lies the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. The little-known-to-the-public Svalbard Global Seed Vault boasts the world's greatest repository of seeds. It was unveiled a decade ago, in the northernmost inhabited spot on Earth with an airport and stores, and an astounding 850,000 seed varieties culled from 5,000 core agricultural crop species. That's just 18% of the vault's capacity. The entire seed vault, designed to contain and preserve 4.5 million varieties, or some 2.5 billion individual seeds for centuries to come, is a multi-million dollar hedge against a doomsday occurrence of a man-made or natural kind. Svalbard operates as the largest, most mythic, and least accessible. It's also the final stop before plant extinction. This distant place at the cold end of the planet seems worthy of a pilgrimage. But don't plan one soon, unless you're bringing seed deposits approved by the Norwegian government during one of the three times per year when the vault is cracked open. Number 1. 
Chapel of the Ark of the Covenant, Ethiopia. One of the most sought-after artifacts from the Bible is the Ark of the Covenant. The legendary object was built around 3,000 years ago to house the stone tablets containing the Ten Commandments. The Ark vanished from history after the Babylonian Empire conquered the Israelites. Nobody really knows if it was destroyed, captured, or hidden. According to Ethiopian lore, the Ark of the Covenant is located at the St. Mary of Zion Cathedral, aka Chapel of the Ark in Aksum. The church only allows one man to see the Ark, and he is a monk who acts as the guardian of the artifact. Although some reports claim that the Aksum object is only a replica of the Ark, nobody else is even permitted to enter the chapel to study the artifact, making it a forbidden place that you wish you could visit. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.